Hello and welcome to Disciple Press. Today I'm going to show you how to use our online designer tool. Once you understand its basic functions, customizing your design will be a breeze. Before I begin customizing this design, I want to stress the importance of saving your design periodically. In the event you make a mistake, you can load a previous save by clicking the blue bar at the top of the tool. We will begin by learning how to work with images on the template. To replace an existing photo, click the image and a pop-up will appear. By clicking here, you browse and select the photo you want to use. Once the photo loads in the pop-up, you may close the pop-up and wait for the image to load in the design. Now that the image is loaded, we can make any necessary adjustments. By clicking on the image, you will see several icons. The icon in the lower right corner allows you to resize the image. The icon in the top right corner allows you to rotate the image. And lastly, the trash can icon in the lower left allows you to remove the image in the event you want to use a different photo. You can reposition the photo by clicking and moving as desired. Next, let's look at adding a new image to the design. As you can see, our existing layout does not have enough room for a new image, so we will remove a few elements to make space. To add a new image, click the Add Image feature at the top of the tool. As before, you will click here to browse and select your image. Once the image loads in the pop-up, close the pop-up and wait for the image to load. In this example, you can see the photo I have added takes up the entire screen and we are not able to see the resize icon in the lower right of the photo. To reduce the size of the photo, first click the image, then click the transform icon in the pop-up. The first slider option in the pop-up will allow you to reduce the size of the photo by sliding left. Once the photo is down to a manageable size, you can then use the resize icon in the bottom right corner of the photo. You can also remove existing elements from the design to provide more space for photos and text. To remove an element, select the element, then click the trash can icon. Once you have opened up space, you can resize and position your photo as you desire. Next, we are going to look at editing and adding text to the design. To replace existing text, double click and highlight the text and begin typing your own. Within the pop-up below the text, you have several options. Click the font size icon and you will see more options. You have font size, line height, and letter spacing. You can adjust these options using the sliders or the numeric values on the right. By clicking the back button, you can return to the previous menu. Here you can change the font. You can also change the text alignment if you want to do so. In the event you accidentally delete a text box, you can click the undo button at the bottom to recover the box. 
Now we will look at adding new text when there is no existing text to replace. The Add Text option does not allow you to create a constrained text box. So when you add your text, you will see that it is in a straight line. You will need to press the Enter or Return key on your keyboard at the end of each line. Then set your font type, size, and color. Once you are satisfied with everything on the front spread, you will continue to the inside pages by clicking the icon in the lower left of the tool. You will continue editing these pages the same way as the front. Replace existing photos and text with your own. Upon completion, click the Save button, then press Add to Cart. Should you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us via the live chat or phone. Thank you for choosing Disciple Press.